Okay, everyone, this is the last video of the booklet. Um, <clears throat> and this is on the mean of group data. So you may have done this at GCSE. You may be pretty rusty at it. Um, we're going to talk about how to do it manually. And then we're going to talk about how to do it using your calculator. We're not necessarily going to talk about how it works, because hopefully you kind of know how it works, and it will probably be covered in class. But when you've got group data like this, OK, first off, this is discontinuous group data, all right? Because it goes from 21 to 22. And this length of pine cone, this has been rounded to the nearest millimeter. So how do we know that it wasn't 19.6 millimeters here or 19.5? So in other words, the upper and lower bounds, you see? So actually, our bounds need to be changed first. So this is 19.5 to 21.5. This is 21.5 to 23.5 and 23.5 to 26.5 and 26.5 to 29.5. That now covers all the possibilities uh, between 20 and 29 as this uh, length has been rounded, okay? Now, the formula for finding the mean, which is known as x bar, is the same as sigma f of x over sigma f, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, actually, for this video, we don't need this f of x squared column, so I wouldn't worry about that one, actually. We'll take that out. Uh, you'd need that for what's called a standard deviation, and I think we'll save that for when you get hit, get into college. Okay, so sigma fx over sigma f, and that makes sense, doesn't it? Because we know the mean is the same as all numbers added up divided by the number of numbers that there are. Okay, so this is your f column here. So sigma means add up, right? So we're going on, this is part of that Ouija bit of the board. Who's on their Ouija board? Uh, okay, sigma means add up. So sigma f means add up all the f's. Okay, so we know how many in total uh, were surveyed. So 4 plus 21, 25, plus 25 is 50. So there were 60, uh, 60 length pine cones being measured. Okay. In order to use this formula, though, we need this value of x, don't we? We need a value of x. But how can we generate a value of x if we've got this bracket of possible x's? Well, it seems logical to pick the mid value of that class, OK? So what's halfway between 19.5 and 20.5? Well, it's got to be there's a difference of 2 between them, isn't there? So it's got to be 20.5, do you see? There's a difference of the next one. 23.5 uh, of 2 again, so that must be 22.5. Uh, and the next one, there's a difference of 3. So 1.5 is midway between add 23.5, so that must be 25. And um, again, a difference of 3, so 1.5 either side, so that must be 28. Okay. So you've got all the mid values now. And what we would do then is we would need to times all the x's by the f. So I'd get my calculator out and I'd do 4 times 20.5. So that's 82. And I'd do 22.5 times 21. So I'm multiplying this and I get 472.5. And then multiply this. So 25 squared, 625. And then 28 times 10 is 280. So my sigma f of x, everything added up, is going to be 82 plus 472.5 plus 65 plus 280. So that is 1459.2. So the mean, x bar, must be 1459.2 divided by sigma f, which is 60. So that is 24.325. So you can normally round things to three sig fig if you want. So that's that. That's kind of the manual way of doing it, and that's how it works. But let's use the calculator to try. So I want you to, that was kind of the slow way. I want you to do the fast way. 
So, or well, in your assignment of confidence, I want you to fill in the table, but I also want you to be able to check and do this quickly using your calculator, okay? So, where can I put this? If we put this here. All right, so how to do this, okay? So, follow through with me. <coughs> You need to go into stat mode, okay? So you're going to press mode and then stat, which is three, and just press one for one variable. So you can see you're going to have a table like this. But you want to, so that's like the equivalent of this x, uh, of the x part, the mid value, yeah? But you need the frequency part, the f part. So we need to add that on. So if we go shift mode, so setup, and press down once, you can see that stat is number four, so press four. And it says frequency on or off, so press one to have it on. So now you've got that X and frequency in there. So just fill in the stuff. So you need to work out the, the middle value, that mid value X first, manually. So I'm filling it out, and then 25 uh, equals, and then 28. So that's all done. And now I want to fill in the frequency bit. So if I move across and then put in my 4 and then 21 and 25 and 10 equals, now press AC and if you go shift 1 stat, don't go mode to stat because then it will clear everything and you want to press 4 for variance. So shift 1 and then 4 and you see that variance? We're looking for x bar, so if we just press number 2, x bar equals, bang, 24.325. Okay, so I want you to practice both in your starting with confidence booklet. And that's it. Well done for finish, finishing.